Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome to just another Dang How To channel. On this um, part, part of the series on Git, uh, we're going to talk about how to set up SSH with GitHub and working with remotes. So just a quick recap, um, previous um, episodes, we started a local repository on our computer. We sorted out how to add stuff, commit stuff, and all those goodies. So let's move on to the more uh, interesting topics. So what I have here is a hosted um, repository, which is hosted on github.com. Um, if you want to pull down this top, uh, this repository, remote repository to your uh, local machine, you need to clone it. So there's a couple of options that you could clone it. You could click here on the download, click or download, but we want to use the uh, clone functionality. So you also have options here to use uh, HTTPS or use SSH. Uh, when we use um, HTTPS, we just copy uh, this protocol, HTTPS. So I'll just quickly show you how this looks like. So I'll just go to my finder and start from there. Um, so um, this is the working project I have for on my local machine. So I'm just going to open the terminal from here. Sorry about that. And I'm just so from here, if you want to do, you could just go git clone. And this would clone the project on your machine. So you could also, if you don't want the name of the project, you could also say git clone and give it a different name, say my project. It would clone the same project, but give it a different folder. So that's if we're using the HTTPS protocol. But we don't want to use that. We don't want to use SSH. So because um, when you use HTTPS, every time you commit, it's going to ask you for your username and password, unless you put it on your keychain, which still asks you for, uh, sometimes asks you to allow access. So, but with SSH, uh, everything's seamless. You could automate stuff and everything if you do it by SSH. So let's try SSH. If I click SSH, it's going to say you don't have any public uh, SSH key in your GitHub account. Add a public key to, or try cloning this repository by SSH. So let's click this. And it's going to take us to our settings uh, under SSH and GPG keys. So that's the same way as going here on settings and clicking SSH GPG keys. Then click on new SSH. So SSH is a protocol for connecting, authenticating yourself using a key pair technology. So you have a private key and a public key. You share your public key here on the hosted service and use your private key to authenticate against that service. So normally on a Mac, if I go to the root directory, it's located at uh, CD dash SSH. S uh, SSH. Let's try that again. Forge slash SSH. Now I'm inside the folder. So here I already have some uh, keys generated for me. So normally the default key name is IDRSSA. If you already have this, uh, just copy the contents of the ID RSA pub into here. So I could do a cat ID RSA pub and copy this content and paste it here. Let's say MacBook. It would uh, detect that that's a key. So I don't want to do that. I want to create a new key from scratch. So let's clear this. So the tool that you use is the SSH keygen. So if we go to man SSH keygen, it's gonna give you some description of the commands that you would use. So it's an authentication key generator. And there's uh, basically four types of encryption, DSA, A E C D S A E D 25519 and RSA. So the one that we're going to use is RSA, the it's mostly commonly used. And then we're going to give this a different file name. So to exit this man, just 
uh, hit the Q or to quit. So to create a new key, you just say uh, SSH keygen uh, T RSA the encryption technology, and we're gonna uh, say dash F to give it a different file name. So I'm gonna say GitHub RSA. And it's going to ask me for a passphrase. You could add a passphrase or you could keep it empty. I prefer to keep it empty. And if I go to do a list, you would see that there's now a GitHub RSA and a GitHub RSA pub. So what I need to do next is I need to uh, copy the contents here. So if I do another cat, GitHub RSA pub copy this string and add it here just gonna give this MacBook github and this by itself won't uh, run you need to ha somehow configure Mac to be able to detect this new key and the host that you wanted to use on so you can see there's a config file here I'm going to open uh, VX code. So VX code is an uh, editor that I use. I'm going to put a link below if you don't have um, uh, VX code and how to download it. So here I'm currently using Bitbucket for one of the keys. So I'm just going to quickly copy this and add here GitHub. And for the identity file, I'm going to say GitHub RSA. So it, I'm just ba basically saying add the keys to the agent, which is the default agent that runs on my machine to get the private key. So that's the key uh, SSH changer. And I say use keys and then the identity file for that one. Cool. So let's go back now to my other shell. Let's go back now here. And let's try cloning the project using SSH. Let me zoom this in and go back to here, here, and I refresh this. If I click on use, uh, use SSH, you can see it's not there's no more prompt because we already added a key, and you just say git clone, and hopefully this will clone it. Yep. So let's make sure it clone it. Yep. So now it's cloned. So now I have a working copy of that on my machine. So let's see what else we could do here. So let's open v this on VX code. And I'm going to open the terminal. So from here, you just click that. And let's see, uh, when I say git remote, it's going to say origin. So origin is the default um, name of the uh, host of the remote host so let's get more details if so say git remote dash v it would give you the um details of where you actually um got the um git cloned from so it's being cloned from here so you could add different um versions of this of so my project has been forked by other developers or other users and it's the same source um, I could add their uh, URL here and I'd be able to pull some of their data or be, depending on my permission I could push some data on their uh, repository as well but that's a topic we'll cover on the advanced section so um, what else could we do here so I don't want to do that so Basically, that's it. So let's try pushing some stuff on the repository to make sure it works. So let's add a new file. So let's say blog.html. Just going to put some boilerplate here. And let's put blog. If I go to git status here, you would see that there's an untruck file. And say git add, add it. And then just git, git commit. Added blog page. Now to push it, I just say git push. Boom. So if I go to GitHub now, 
and refresh this, you would see that the uh, page has been added here. Cool. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Uh, watch out for more videos. Cheers. Bye for now.